Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Mega Man Zero Four Episode 10. V... 10. Yes. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Let's go evolve our elf before we tackle the last two Robot Masters. There's not that much left of this game left. Alright, so let's see what we can increase. So that wall sliding, that's alright, I guess. Is that, uh, I think we'll go with the triple slash. Triple attack sounds pretty good, I think. <coughs> Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. We're all, uh, oh, shit. We're all loaded out and ready to go. So let's head to the transporter and get things underway. All right, we got two left. We got Pegasolta Eclair and Heat Genblem. Hmm. Well, I've actually been warned about this guy, so, uh, let's see if we go ahead and get him out of the way and just do it right now, so... Let's stop the acid rain! I love how, like, man-made nature is destroying the world. It's like a foe of nature that destroys real nature. I, I don't know, there's probably some simple symbolism that I'm just not under... Standing. So here we go. Acid rain generators. Destroy them all. Let's get this over with. Ah, great. It's been a few weeks since I played this because I've been so busy for the new year. This is actually the first new recording of 2015. So, eh. Hey. It's been so busy with other things, though. So, let's hope I'm still as good at this game as I remember I am. Door right off the bat, wonderful. Oh shit! Gyro cannon. And another gyro cannon. I don't like how they're just so far away, but. Oh goddammit. Aha! There we go. Had to charge it a little bit. That's it. Aha! Easy! Ah. I see your game, but I don't believe that my luck is going to last very long, case in point. Oh god. Oh god, that's terrible. It's awful. Why would anybody do that? There's one generator right off the bat. Oh. Tricky, damn it. My timing was off. I think that was easy enough. What about this guy? Oh, some health. And more spikes. My favorite. Ooh, can I get up there, maybe? I don't know if I'm that good at trying with that. I can't. Let's just move on, then. Ah, uh, no. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Nope. Not fucking... Not today. Ah, crap. Alright, V-Fire. really wish I could use some of these parts. Don't worry, I'll be sure to look up some recipes, I guess by the end of the Let's Play. Probably by the next Robot Master. More health, always good. Alright, mid-boss time. We know how wildly fluctuating and difficult these things can be. Pretty sure I've fought this thing before. Aha! It looks like ice is his weakness, so I think I've got this shit in the bag, just about. Oh. Yeah, this shit's easy. Ah, crap! And then he mixes it up and makes it difficult for me. Oh shit! No, 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 no! Don't fucking think so. Oh, haha. Man. How big health bars do these fucking things have? Jesus Christ! This is ridiculous! God! Oh, oh, you asshole. You had to get one last hit in, didn't you? Well, fine. I can live with that. More generators, more of those guys. Whoa, that was close. Ah, shit. Not close enough. Loving that extra vitality, though. That's really making things a whole lot better for me. I'm so glad. 
was like the best decision I've ever done. It's like every game, the elves always seem to surprise me in some major way. I guess it's what makes them a bit different and a bit unique to the Mega Man Zero series. I guess I gotta blood them for that. It's never the same though, the way the elves are integrated too, I'm honest. Very interesting. Okay, they just put a whole bunch of these guys here. I know I'm going back and forth on how well this game design is and how poor it is, but... That's the thing with the uh, games by Into Creates. It's very, very wide levels of, uh... Oh shit, full fucking health. Very wide levels of difficulty in their levels. It's very, very uneven. Very strange. Oh shit, that was close. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Go for it, go for it. You got it. Alright, good job. <laughs> Shit. Oh god. There. They move around so quickly when they make their bullets appear. McHameson? Is that like a robotic last name for Jameson or something? No. Okay, not really throwing a lot my way. Alright. Just as I thought the level should end, it ends. I'm so happy. Let's see how this works out. Uh -huh. You don't look that great. Oh, look at me. I'm the foppish character. Bigger Sultan Eclair. Eclair. He's like a cream puff! <laughs> Alright. How bad can you possibly be? Whoa! Already, I'm not liking your stage, but with the death gaps and everything, but uh, let's see what we can work with here. Not liking the way you move around and you get out of shooting range whenever I fucking- oh. oh! You're one of those guys, aren't you? Oh god! Oh! <laughs> sure. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, looks like Thank God I've got his weakness to ice, so that's, uh, something working for me. Whoa! That's kind of making things a lot easier. See? It's the bosses that have four fucking health bars that are the most difficult, and the ones that have claustrophobic screens. See, at least here I can move around, you know? This, this feels like a wide-open field compared to the tight boxes I've had to fight. If, like, for example, if I could fight Kraft in something like this, maybe without the fucking death bits, it'd be a lot better. But I feel like I can move, I feel like I can breathe, you know? I feel like I can strategize a little bit, you know? I like this battle a lot better than what I've been having so far. Shit. If he would stop getting the way out of my moves, it'd be even better. Oh, come on! You got a tiny ass hitbox, you son of a bitch. Oh god! Alright, one more good shot ought to do it. And <laughs> he ran right into it! So, okay, you may be beautiful, but one thing's for sure you are stupid. Very stupid. No, it's not. It was actually quite foolish. He's vain and in denial. What a pile of shit. There ain't enough plastic surgery in the world to fix what, uh, what he has by the refights. And I know that my average is going to get worse and worse. But hey, call me a Supreme Warrior if you want. <laughs> and I'm back. Yay. No more acid rain. And you're... The Flying Fortress is what you're... <laughs> Alright, whatever. Well, uh, I'll be right back for a second. We've got a little bit of time, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and look up some part recipes and see if we can't do something here. Alright, so after checking a uh, guide online, it turns out that out of all the parts I've collected so far, I can only do one part. That's really wonderful. What I need is the beam walker and the RB cannon right here. 
And so let's go with that. And that gets me a Q charge one. What does that do? Well, let me show you. Let's leave here. We'll go to our pause menu. And head on over to our head here. Which head on over to our head here. We can equip Q charge. I don't think we have anything else here. Q charge lets us charge our weapon faster. How wonderful. That's going to come in handy in what's to come ahead. So, uh, yeah. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man Zero Four, the final robot boss master thing, Wily's dudes, whatever they're fucking called, the bad guys. Yeah. So we'll see you next time!